Hey, what's up, math scholars? It's part two of our study guide video. The test is coming Tuesday. Who's excited? Okay. No one's excited for tests, I get it. Hey, let's do number 10 together because it's pretty intense, but we'll get back to doing board buddies today, okay? Um, what do you guys think is going to happen in 10? Let's just come up with a game plan. Who has an idea? Uh, Austin? Yeah, so you're actually going to want to foil all this stuff, and you're going to want to distribute this negative 5 before you think about adding like terms, because multiplying happens before adding like terms. So let me go ahead and do my foil. That matchup is a 16x squared. That matchup is a positive 28x. Then we're going to have a negative 28x. <clears throat> then we're going to have a negative 49. Now, when I distribute that negative 5x, it's a negative 5x squared and a negative 20x. So that was a lot. But now we just go in and combine our like terms. We'll be done. Let's do our colors. If this guy's blue and this guy's blue, how many blues are we going to have? Two. Okay. How many x squareds will we have? Go ahead. If this is green, and this is green, and this is green, these two will cancel, but I think we'll have still have the negative 20x, and then we'll have that minus 49. Very good. <clears throat> hey, we're going to send up board buddies for this next section, but just a reminder what I want your answers to look like. I want your answers to be two empty sets of parentheses filled with variables and numbers. And the numbers you'll be looking for are the numbers that will multiply to 12 and add up to 8. So there's a hint. Okay, raise your hand if you two got P plus 2, P plus 6. That's how these ones work. You want to make sure your answer would foil out so you could check your answer by foiling it out. Time for board bodies. We've got some negatives creeping in. Be careful. Oop. All right, good job making the 12 be the negative number and the 3 be the positive number on that one. All right, ooh, 90, that's a bigger number. If you need to use your calculator to experiment with the combinations, please do that. All right, so the negative 90, this is a bigger number and a harder number to come up with the combinations. I have not seen a group yet make the brainstorm list, but I highly recommend that. 90 and 1 was not it, 10 and 9, not it. Uh, you can just keep experimenting. You end up being 5 and 18 <clears throat> if you make that 18 a negative, okay? <coughs> Everybody okay with that one? <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got coming up next. When you are asked to find what is the idea we need to do to find solutions? What's the strategy? Looking for an idea. Okay. We need the zero to be there. You have to be steady for the zero. So you don't want to get rid of the zero. Ray, do you have an idea? Distributing is not it. Any other ideas? Alyssa. Yes. So we have to set our two empty sets of parentheses. We're going to use the same factoring strategy as up above. What numbers multiply to six that add up to five? Austin. 2 and 3. So we're going to go with the y plus 2. We're going to go with the y plus 3. Would it help if I wrote the steps out so you could study them? Yeah, All right, so steps to solving. Step 1, make sure your whole equation is set equal to 0. So that was a good thing that we were set equal to 0. Step 2, use your factoring strategies. And then, do you remember step three? Zero. Utilize the zero product property to solve. And that's why having that zero is so important. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so here's where we're at. The zero product property states, if this binomial times this binomial equals zero, one of the two has to be zero. So either y plus 2 equals 0 or y plus 3 equals 0. 
what do I do to solve this? Subtract 2. What do I do to solve this? Subtract 3. There's your two answers. You're normally going to have two answers. If you want to put a keyword between them, it's or. I don't grade your keyword being there. Okay. All right. Are we good? Do you want to do this one with board buddies or just do it together? It's kind of harder. Austin? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Then we'll get a ticket. What should we do first right here? Ken. Minus 4C. Minus 4C on both sides. We've got 8C squared minus 4C equals 0. Now, I scrolled so I can't see my steps anymore, but step 2 is factor it. What type of factoring can I do here? Ken? Oh, you'll pull away the common Good. Common monomial factoring. Four and C. All right. If I pull a four C out, I'm dividing it out. I would be left with a two C and a negative one. Okay. This is where our zero product property steps in. All right. So here's where we're at. <clears throat> this here times this here is zero. So I'm going to set both of them equal to zero. Four C equals zero or 2c minus 1 equals 0. So to solve this, we're going to divide both sides by 4, <clears throat> get 0. And then to solve this, it's a little more intense. What are we going to do? <clears throat> Add the 1, and then divide by 2. So c is 1 half. So that's your two answers, 0 or 1 half. Yes. Yeah, so there'll be an answer blank. Zero or an app. Okay, like that. You don't have to, but you need to put something in there. Comma or something. Because there's two answers. All right, ready? Huh. What are we going to do on this one? I scrolled down so I can't see my steps. Allie, do you know the first step? Yes, we want to get everything equal to zero. So we want to get the 51 over to the other side. Um, as far as the like terms, the negative, or sorry, the positive 6 and the negative 51 would be what? Negative 45, I believe. Great, great. It's the last one. Ray, I was hoping this is the last one. Yes, so the reason we subtract the 51 from the 6 is we're trying to get um, everything equal to 0. Step 1. And the 51 and the 6 were the only two that were like terms on that side. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, do you guys know what numbers multiply to the negative 45 but add up to the negative 4? Oh, Nick? Negative 9 and positive 5. Very good. And then I set both of those equal to 0 because I'm doing my 0 product um, <clears throat> basically, if this times this is zero, one of the two has to be zero, either this one or this one. So I'll finish this by adding nine, and I'll finish this by subtracting five. You can put your or in between. <clears throat> okay. Hey, we finished our video in nine minutes. That's great. I'm going to give you guys the rest of the time to get in your Chromebook, so you can even do it on your phone. This Polaris review assignment is due tomorrow night at midnight, okay? Thanks for watching the video.